I miss something or didn't Hunter not sure if you remember me, but we met briefly before I'm the witch who called me back from the grave Told you or Nico, but either works and this is Robbie Ray is <laughs> Oh man never thought I'd be standing next to you got quite a rep I mean, caretakers told us stories. That's Ileana. Brilliant. And I think you already met Blade. Of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. Whoa. How did you... Your power. I can feel it. I always do. So... Welcome home. I guess we... I never left. Right. Well, we can fast forward through the tour then. The Abbey is still, well, you know. The Abbey. Basic stuff. Dorms, war room, library, a few places to chill, and, uh, whatever the hell the forge is. I have to say, for a haunted transient castle raised on the cursed grounds of Old Salem, it's pretty cozy. Of course, that doesn't stop us from adding some improvements. We can all thank Robbie for the Wi-Fi. Oh, and one more thing. We've got some new house guests now. You think we're a fun bunch, just wait until you meet them. Speaking of, we're here. Yeah, okay. Spend ten minutes in this place alone, Bruce, then see. Oh, <clears throat> gotta go. Show starts to begin. There isn't time for a refresher, much less that sort of training regime. Prophecies be damned. It's good to see that face again. You look like it was yesterday. And you look... older. Was I in that crypt, Sarah? No more than a few centuries. You were... missed. Centuries? And what of Lilith? Fallen by your hand. Until now. <clears throat> yeah, so speaking of Lilith... Tony? What? The kid's literally speaking of Lilith. Tony? That's my name. Tony. That's, uh, Carol and Dr. Spooky over there. Here to help. Help with what, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Throwing the magic amulet into the volcano? Smiting the dragon mother? You tell us, kid. You are the chosen one, after all. Do you recall anything of that last encounter, child? There was... a voice. The rest is... hazy. Oh, a voice. That's it? A voice? That's what we have to go on? Results of your long crypt sleep, most likely. A minor inconvenience. Everything required to restore those memories is contained within my sanctum. I will simply alert Wanda to prepare the necessary rituals. Straight to voicemail? Some sorcerer supreme. Must be mystical interference caused by this little pocket dimension of yours. Perhaps Agatha can help. Allow me. Alato. Oh, what kind of network you run in there? The all-seeing eye of Ereshkigal who judges. Bound to enchanted Babylonian soul glass. We just call it the mirror table. Wanda! The dark force is pushing against the wards. Steven, where are you? That's impossible. Nothing on Earth could possibly affect those wards. Wanda's in trouble. Wanda is trouble. I'll go. You'll need my help, of course. Then let us make haste, Dr. Spooky. 
Our hunt begins now. You following me, Doc? Maybe you should go introduce yourself to the youngins. I'm sure they know of the Sorcerer Supreme, and I wasn't... With everything going on right now, we simply cannot afford... Given the fluctuations in the astral spectrum, I should be seen. Are you ready? The prophecy of the Midnight Sun does not linger, and neither should we. Lilith possesses the Darkhold. If she forced her way into my Sanctum Sanctorum once, I suspect she can do it again. You are a Sorcerer Supreme. Can you not predict her movements? Normally, yes. But since your mother breached the Sanctum, my sense of the future has grown voluminous in nature. Is that another language, or...? Ah, <sighs> fuzzy. My predictions are fuzzy. For the first time, as Sorcerer Supreme, I cannot foresee how the future unfolds, and with my apprentice in danger, we cannot tarry. Your sanctum will survive. We shall see to that. Indeed. The Sanctum Sanctorum has weathered its fair share of trouble over the years. Lay storms, a few short-tempered celestials that issue with the Zoning Commission. But this time, it feels different. I do not doubt Wanda's capability, but without my predictive acumen, I cannot bolster the wards should she need it. Still, the wards are woven into the Sanctum's very essence. They should hold. In any case, all will be revealed with time. I suggest we make use of it while it still functions. About time. Not just about time. Mr. Brooks, time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly. Yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is... not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... Well, I'll just let her show you. So young, of course. You think 
This is crazy. Wait until you see Manhattan. From here, magic can open gateways to just about anywhere on our planet and beyond. We don't want to risk punching through... resistance between you and the Sanctum. Looks can be deceiving, I'm afraid. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the wards of protection. changed among the world's fanatics.
working as planned. Taking the shot. Right, that hurt a bit. It appears they've bolstered their forces. That gamma spike we detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not a good thing. Gamma or not, I feel the hand of my mother at work here. your strength. Concentrate. Ah, and I won't be doing that again. Hydra manages to attract new recruits despite decades of ineptitude. A gift of ancient tradition.
this. No. I'll handle it. Or... <laughs> not? We do not fear your magic, little wizard. We have answered the mother's call. We are venom to all who oppose her. And you are large! Well, that certainly escalated quickly. Do I even want to know what that beast is? It calls itself Venom. Until now, a pale imitation of a very heroic young friend of mine. We will feed your ugly tongue to the spider, wizard. Marinate it in his stomach juices and eat it with his spleen.
First you die, then we eat! Damn it, what are you made of? Better not stain my cloak. Hydra doesn't know when to quit. We may not be ready for this thing yet. Might be smarter to pull back until we know what we're up against here. Yes. Surrender. Be eaten. Fill our belly with your tasty beer. <laughs> Get up if I were you. The light will carry you on. Just like old times. Sounds to me like they just missed their mama. Limit. 
Ups. Kill it with fire.
sorry, Doc. That's just his way of taking care! <laughs> Congratulations. New world or not, some things remain unchanged. The look. What look? Boldly charging headfirst into the jaws of your enemy. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just to play the hero. This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall... I killed the bastard. And all it cost was a village. Uh, of course! I see it now. The look! Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... Than the Sanctum? Or Wanda? She means I could have died. Again, putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. You've been through a lot. For now, it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. Talk more later. Get some rest. For what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there, with a little help. Your support is appreciated. Oh, no problem. I already got a few ideas cooking. You're not allergic to mimetic poly... You know what? Never mind. Why spoil the surprise? I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. Thanks for the gift, Tony. I think you'll like it. It's a limited edition. A limited edition what? Oh, you'll see. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. Hi, I'm Tony Stark. But if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, 
I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. There was never enough room for my armor in this thing. My old journal. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again.
We were all so happy then. <laughs>